The Languages Department here at Heriot Watt has a real community feel. We're always brought together. We know our lecturers really well and they know us really well. And in fact, last year we won Department of the Year. So if that doesn't explain it, I don't know what will. study French and Spanish, translating and interpreting. Hi, my name's Rachel, I'm from Livingston and I also study translation, interpreting French and Spanish. Hi, my name's Aidan, I come from Kilmarnock and I also study interpreting, translating French and Spanish. So while the three of us study French and Spanish, there are also other languages available at Heriot Watt. So in total we have five languages, uh, French, Spanish, German, British Sign Language and Chinese. So normally what happens is our lecturers would speak and we would be able to listen in the bus and we'd be able to give an interpretation of what's happening at the same time it's happening. There's three different things we can do, conference interpreting or simultaneous interpreting, also liaison interpreting, but it's not done in the bus, it's done at the table. You might be wondering what happens if we have a speaker and someone in the bus doesn't understand that language. Luckily we're able to relay between bus by pressing a simple button and listen to what's happening round about us. So Rachel would speak in Spanish and Jack would be able, then be able to understand what's happening and he'd be able to put it into another language. So the consoles themselves have a lot of features. You can listen to the floor just by pressing any of the buttons here that say floor. There's also a button that lets you listen directly to what the lecturer is displaying out through the PC as well and if as Aidan explained I didn't speak a language I could relay off another booth so you hold in the button here and then you move the dial and whatever booth you're wanting to tune into the numbers will come up so say I want to tune into booth 8 I can now hear anything that booth 8 says the minute they pop their mic on. So we have the multilingual debate where we'll be doing simultaneous interpreting for the people in the audience we've literally just been practicing 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 so there's two debates, the first of which undergraduate students will be interpreted in. Our topic is whether physical education should be compulsory up until the end of high school in the UK. The second debate is the MSc debate and they'll go in and they'll interpret on the use of plastic and the effect that this has on the environment. If you're studying a language degree, I think wanting to travel I think is part and parcel of it. Um, and the, definitely the Erasmus, uh, Erasmus programme is a fantastic experience to do that because it does you're funded to go across to the EU, you have access to all the local airports and local bus services. So while you may be, for example, in Madrid or in Paris or in Mons, you have the ability to travel all over Europe. What you find while you're out there is that many other people that you're studying with have studied languages at university. So they've done normal languages like literature and things like that. And what you maybe don't realise while you're doing this kind of course is the fact that it is gearing you towards actually using your languages. So you find yourself at a bit of an advantage because you're doing translation classes, you're doing interpreting classes, and that's all stuff you've done here before. So that's one of the main advantages that Harry Watt gives you in going into your abroad is being prepared to use your languages in real environments, um, which definitely makes the socialising aspect of it and getting to know people a lot easier. Mm -hmm.